Let's see what we got in here today. Uh, oh, there we go. What is that? All right. I'll take that. Let's see what else. Holy oh, shit. At least there's no food in this one. Oh. Oh, sweet. Awesome. Are you missing out on money because you're scared to get inside a dumpster? Or walk around your neighborhood or drive around your neighborhood and check out what your neighbors are throwing away on heavy trash day? You could be passing up on some money. Free money. Everybody needs free money. Check it out. What's up, freaks and geeks? It's Chris with Flip the World. Did you like that opening video? That's the kind of depravity that you get from your boy. I am not scared to get in a dumpster to make an intro video. Crash into cash. It's something that I've kind of always done my whole life. And it started with my parents, my mom especially. She would always go and look in people's trash to see if they were throwing away anything that we might need at the house or that uh, we could possibly sell. I'm not gonna lie though, as a kid, that used to embarrass the hell out of me. I'm like, mom, oh my God, please stop looking at this. People looking, please get out of their trash. But now, as a flipper, as a reseller, pfft, all bets off. If you got something that you're throwing away that's worth money, I want it because I need money. If you're cool with throwing away money, that's perfectly fine to each their own. But me, I want to make it. And in today's day and age, especially during the old pandemic, money is something that everybody is looking for. And instead of trying to get the uh, fingers crossed on the extension for the, the disaster benefits, you can actually go ahead and get out there and work and make it. So if you have trash pick up in your neighborhood once a week, twice a week, if you have a heavy trash day, make sure you're driving around and you're just looking. I'm not saying get out at every house, but if you see somebody that's got a decent amount of stuff and something catches your eye, pop in, you never know. And I know it's taboo to dig in people's trash or to be in a dumpster looking for trash. But what you do as a reseller is also taboo. People look at you, oh, you're a reseller. Oh, okay, yeah. So you might as well dive all in 100%. Don't half-ass two things, whole-ass one thing. Thank you, Ron Swanson. But anyway, I personally don't really like going through people's trash during the daytime, especially if they're still bringing stuff out or if like the neighbors are out. But I have to remind myself, scared money don't make money. Check out what we found. Oh man. So you remember the bonus material of the last video I talked about seeing trash day and stopping and getting those items that I could flip. So I saw that he was putting out more stuff on my way to pick up little man from daycare. So I hit up the missus and said, yo, head over there, see what he's got. She, go, she went over there, she filled the car. She actually talked to the guy. It's his deceased father's house that he's cleaning up. So he's gonna be putting stuff out every Monday and Thursday. She didn't wanna ask if we could just go through whatever he's got right now. You know, a little passe, I guess, since it's his deceased father. But I definitely am probably gonna try and talk to this guy, cause check this out. This is just all the stuff I kept. So we got a box of flashlights, that's easy garage sale. A plug in clip fan, a bunch of tapes. Most of these are like a bunch of uh, like Bob Seeger. So I'll probably keep those for the personal collection. Another CB radio, this is a Royce uh, CB. Uh, I actually got myself some 20 gauge, shade, 20 gauge shells that he had uh, thrown out. Um, a vintage Ray-Ban case. The glasses aren't inside, but the case alone sells. This is a field meter. Uh, sells for about 30 on eBay. Um, miscellaneous vintage silverware. Again, we have a yard sale coming up, so that, that. There's a little 22 uh, gun case, probably go. And then this uh, handmade leather knife sheath, that'll probably go in the yard sale. But the things that I'm excited about are this vintage money bag from Great Southern Bank here in Houston. 
and I don't think I can do this one handed. Let me go ahead and use the old armpit. The lock key is inside, so it's never been used, so brand new. So that's pretty badass. Usually you can find these bags, but not with the actual key. Uh, and then this is my most exciting, but not probably the most valuable. And this is just an old ring box, but you see that background? That's badass. And then there was this box, this bag, Harley Davidson Genuine. And when you dump it out, da, 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 a bunch of vintage Harley stickers. Obviously, I think his father was one of those people. Um, but a bunch of awesome vintage Harley stickers. And these are actually matching tank envelopes that go on the side of the gas tank and then a Harley license plate. Now, some of these stickers have like 1979 date on them. So I probably will sell these as a lot and just exclude this sticker and this sticker or this sticker and this sticker. As you saw on those stickers, those are old vintage Harley Davidson stickers. Um, the one, the, the set of the twin um, red and gold wings, those are tank emblems that go on the side of like a 1981, 82 shovel head gas tank. Now they're red and gold because obviously with the Hells Angel sticker, you can kind of assume that this person, uh, person's father-in-law was probably um, part of an organization, but those sell the last one sold on eBay for $110. There's actually one company that makes reproduction of these sticker decals, and they charge $100 for the reproduction. So the fact that you can actually get the original for like $110, and it was just in the trash, super exciting. Yeah, awesome. Again, I'm probably going to go talk to the guy because usually if you find this kind of stuff, that means they're going to have old Harley t-shirts and maybe some old rock t-shirts since all of the tapes are like rock and roll bands. So I would love to possibly buy off of him some vintage shirts, but amazing. Again, this was all free. Shout out to the missus for going over there and talking to the guy. I don't like uh, dumpster diving or, you know, going through people's trash when the sun's out. She doesn't give a shit. But then she reminded me that I needed to stop being a little and just do it so i got out we started going through some stuff and i'm glad that she was there to motivate me to just suck it up and do it and the final thing that i'm most excited about is this abu ambassador 5500 c fishing reel i'll go ahead and what's crazy is i went ahead and i cleaned up the stuff that i thought was going to sell faster like the fishing reel the stickers are easy. You just take a picture of them and list them. And the uh, the seat, the Harley seat, I I did some. Uh, I had some saddle soap that I bought, like some leather cleaner for boots, and I can use. I use that on there, and then I put some uh, conditioner to go ahead and make it look uh, nice and shiny. Threw up the listings, and before I woke up the next day, as you can see, Bing, 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 three of the items sold, two hundred and five dollars. Bam, zero into 205. Now that's gross, so after fees and shipping, it's probably like 155, 160, but still, that's trash that this gentleman was throwing away that I turned into $160 in my pocket. But as you see, those Hells Angel stickers, I mean, we're talking about a three inch by one inch sticker. I threw it up, sold it for $25 immediately. So shout out to HA for making me some money. Hopefully I don't have to like scrub toilets or do any kind of weird stuff. Other thing I like to do is I like to go behind the big box stores and see if they've thrown out any discontinued items or sometimes uh, they'll throw something out because someone returned it and has a dent. I've actually picked up a mini fridge, new in box, that the door was dented and so it was a customer return. It still had the customer return tag on it. Works perfectly. Got it in the house. So always be on the lookout guys. If you have an awesome free trash into cash item that you flipped, leave it in the comments. Let me know. I want to know I'm not the only person jumping in dumpsters and going through people's trash. There's money out there, y'all. Let's get it. Also, just a little pro tip, not even a pro tip, but I always see on Facebook blogs and uh, pages and YouTube people commenting about where do you get boxes? Well, if you're not getting your boxes from the USPS for free, and I know they're limited on size on what they can do, hit up your big box store. 
Go to the back. They're gonna have a green dumpster. That dumpster is full of free cardboard boxes. Shit, they have so many they have to use their actual trash dumpster. Don't be scared to get back in there, get yourself some stuff for free.